What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay. We are here with week two of the IBA. Unfortunately, we did cop a loss week one, but we're gonna hope for some to, to catch some redemption right here. We're going against mid Pokey Master um, and his Alabama rollouts. He does have a bit of a scary team, but I do think we can definitely get the dub this week. I did like the matchup, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my stuff. So he brings an interesting team. A couple of things that I think I uh, there were some mods that I was like expecting but didn't expect. Um, not actually pretty spot on according to Mox. I don't know what else I was expecting. I can't remember his team off the top of my head. Dracovish comes off. Um, Scalopede is there. How creamy is there? Uh, Persian is there. I guess I wasn't expecting Persian, but I forget what else I had in my brain about what I, what it was going to be. Rodham Heat is there. I am scared of Melmetal a good bit, like a choice band set would be scary, but I'm hoping he's more so AV because that helps me like <laughs> defensively. Um, I could just lead Heracross. It gives me a free switch into um, Godzilla. And then I, if he does lead Scallopede, then I can easily swap out into Milo. Um, actually, Milo is not a bad lead here either because Milo can help with Melmetal. Milo also helps with Rotom to an extent. Persian, but if I get knocked off, that sucks. I think I'm just gonna leave Heracross and go from there. I think it's a pretty safe lead in his team. Uh, if he does lead Vish, then that sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck because I can have Tangle it right there. But we'll see. I'll see, I'll see, I'll see. Oh, I was expecting Rillaboom. That's what I was expecting. Cause I, but I was expecting it, but not expecting it because between like Tangela and Ultras, like Rillaboom shouldn't come. But like at the same time, it does pressure like Milo and Tyranitar a good bit. And stuff like Needle Queen and whatnot. So he does lead Persian, that's fine. If he does knock me off, that will suck. I'm not gonna lie. It will suck. Like a hundred percent. And I could protect. Oh no, maybe I should have ran protect just for this one spot, but like I could go T Tar. Depending on what he goes for. Cause who you go into Alcreamy. And I think I can just knock. If he if we lose our orb. Is it the worst thing in the world? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Hold up, let me pull up Calx real quick. Because if he is to a Persian, if he's just max HP, I'm overthinking this turn way too much. I feel like T-Tar is the safest thing. I'm not burned. I still can KO depending on what his set is. I'm just gonna swap out. I'm gonna go T-Tar just in case. I feel like it shouldn't, but it is what it is. I'd rather get my lefties knocked off more so than my flame orb. I guess I should have ran protect that turn because like Stone Edge is there, but like I don't know if I'm clicking it. He was for parting shot, so I could have stayed in. So I overthought that turn way too much. Overthought that way too much. Oh, the fear of losing my orb though got me. That was the thing. So we go Vish right here. He could also go Melmetal. One of those two. Let's go Vish. That's cool. But if he is Sandrush, we'll see right here according to the damage calcs. Um, Tangela is right there. I'm gonna swatch out into Tangela, obviously. What city he wants to go for? So Dracovish, if it's banded, uh, which I'm gonna call it, it will take me down to a good bit, at like 60%, depending. Like 60, 65. Vicious Ren comes off. So that looks like banded damage. Looks like about to be banded damage. So what I could do right here is I could leech. Or I could just Giga Drain. Can I just Giga Drain? Or I could knock. I could knock, get rid of the band. And then swap out, swap out into something else. Okay, cool. That's fine. So this thing comes off. Shiny Rotom, I assume. I hope he has like custom skins because Shiny Rotom is gross. Critical hit. We take it. We'll take it. Every dude is gone, so that's nice. So if we can get um, Rocks up with T-Tar this turn, even though I feel like he's going to Bolt Switch, that'd be really nice. He could also go for a Will-O-Wisp, which would be cool too. I'd be down for a will o -Wisp. So I could have popped my hair across his uh, flame orb if I didn't overthink, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Super unfortunate. So he might go for a willow or he might go for a volt switch. He does volt switch, okay. 
Doesn't do too much because we are a T-Tar in stand. So the question is, who does he go? He could go Melmetal now. Melmetal or Vicious is always like the thing that he would go for. Because it's pretty free. Dracovich does come out. Yep. This thing is a threat and a half. We know it's not Sand Force, obviously. He's going to be like, he's banded, as we know. Adam and Ban, pretty much. We can just go Tangela. Even though we are getting a bit whittled down. So Sand is going to be a little annoying, but it is chipping down this Dracovish a good bit, which is nice. But we do know it's, well, I assume it's banded. Yeah, otherwise if it wasn't banded, if it was Scarf, it wasn't doing that much. So it's definitely banded, which is nice because it's nice for a Dragapult endgame. Super nice for a Dragapult endgame. Vision Rank comes off. Okay. Dance up to the side is cool. So I can Giga Drain right here. I can Giga Drain right here. Should be able to live. Should be able to live. Yeah, okay, cool. So, we'll get some health back right here. Put a leech seated. We're gonna get a little bit of health back. Just a tiny bit. Which can go a long way, don't get it twisted. Because we're gonna be over half. About at half, cool. Um, This time, I still make the same play. Still make the same play. The sand chip is annoying. I should have went for Leech. But I was just scared of... Of course, <laughs> I'm scared of Dracovish. So does he just keep swapping? He's gonna keep swapping. Oh boy. I think this is going to be what the game we're going to play for a little bit. I'm going to play some peekaboo. Is Dragovish again low enough? Uh, Dragapult Shadow Ball will eventually be able to take it out. Because it's already at 75. And all I, at Shadow Ball does 69 to 81. So all we need to do is just keep doing this little game. And then I will be able to eventually, like, I won't be scared of Dragovish anymore. Because all I have to do is get a uh, bolt in. I can kill it with Shadow Ball. And Shadow Ball against this team is pretty free. Aside from like Persian and stuff. But like, this is very annoying. With Sand, we might die, actually. To 65. Wait, no. Uh, Pangala. Might die. Um, Golly is scary. I go for Leech now. Let's go for Vicious right now. We do die. It was a crit. Oh. Oh, it was a roll. It was a roll. That sucks. Sucks a lot. I'm not gonna lie, that sucks a lot. Oh, that's not a good spot, bro. That is a terrible spot to get. Um, could just Shadow Ball, but I just I think a U turn is the better play. Ah, oh, that sucks, bro. That still sucks. The Persian is here. Persian is now. I'm gonna U-turn. Do a good chunk of damage. We know Dragovish is banded, which kind of makes it easier, I guess, to counter it. it. Of course, like every time it comes in, it's gonna be unfortunate. Um, I could go into Godzilla and get Roxa, but is Rox important right now? I don't think so. I think getting a kill on something is. And we can trigger our flame orb now for free. Yeah, I think 
Ah, uh, Neng. I was so scared of Nasty Pot Rotom and stuff that I brought like guitar with sand. But obviously right here, it definitely wasn't worth it. So T-Tar is going to be fun for me to figure out throughout the season. Uh, which ability to bring. Um, looking at his team. I just go for Facade. Because Persian is in range of a Facade, I believe. Depending on his spread. But it sucks that we lost Tangela. Like a lot. We go for Parting Shot and go out into something like uh, Alcremi. But dang, bro, that really sucks. Parting shot comes off. That really sucks. Oh, uh, that really, 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 really sucks. That's really tough. That crit. Because it was a roll. Oh, cream does come out. Cool. You can facade right here. Are we still two shot? Nah, for the porting shot. So Sansa is going to subside, which is nice. Lefties. So he might recover right here. Or he might go for like a fire move. I mean, not fire move. A berry move. We're going to go on to good old, whatchamacallit right now, Moltres. Ah, oh, bro, losing Tangela like that sucks. The crit, bro. The crit, not the crit. Not the crit. That didn't happen in Mox. That didn't happen. I mean, it happened once, actually, to be honest. <laughs> and I forfeit right after. I was like, there's no way. Oh, but that sucked. I also should have clicked Leech Seed a lot. And I didn't. So that was all, also on me. If I just go for Mystical Fire right here, I think. Uh, Because if he goes Rotom... And Volt switches. I guess I just U-turn. Actually. Go with Draw Cool. Awesome. Rotom comes out. I think this time we're just going to go Pult. Because it's definitely a range of the Shadow Ball. Uh, I go Pult to Rotom. Eat. Just to make sure. Max HP. Shadow Ball definitely takes it out from here. So that's cool. I could have went T-Tar, but that allows in um, Vish. So even though it would have been nice to get a Rocks, it's not optimal for me to let Vish back in. So I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball. Does let me have it. Cool. So... Draco Vish, KO, who? So now I guess I can stack off T-Tar if Vish does come back in at, at some point in the game. Uh, Draco Vish KOs uh, Tangela. And then um, Dragapult, KO. Do, 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 do. Dragapult KOs who? Well, if he does come out, cool. So if he SDs in my face, problematic. Um, he could have Throat Chop. Uh, it's kind of odd for him to bring it in considering out the speed, but he could protect right here. Which is weird. Dragapult KO Rotom. So I could have just went ahead and two shot it. But I guess if he throw chops me and then go gets a speed boost, he does get a spike up. Okay, so he just opted to get a spike up. Cool. We got Flame Orb here too. I'm just gonna Scald right here. Pretty free. Very, very free. Ooh, shout out to Trek stuff for like, uh, warning me about this Spike stuff because that was gonna be super annoying. So he does the Baton Pass. Because Speed Boost is allowed in this league, actually, unfortunately. If he goes into Dracovish, that would actually be preferred but i can snag a burn it wasn't out creamy okay i would like to snag a burn on this too that would be cool we snag a burn critical hit can we get a burn crit burn crit burn no burn all right we got a crit though 
I'll take that. If he's faster, that's cool, because then we can flip turn and go Moltres and get momentum. Uh, it also gets energy ball. There's gonna call mine in my face. Okay. So this all creamy is a bit scary. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Aircross and then two A out creamy. It's a bulky booster. Uh, does Facade take it out? I didn't see. I don't think it takes it out. Pretty sure it was up there. If it did take it out, then I, I should have paid more attention to the HP. Oh, would have taken it out. Oh, that sucks. Oh wait, would have. Uh, it would have been a roll. I think it would have been my favor though. I'm gonna opt to defog. This thing can't hit me for much. This energy ball, fairy move, and something else. I can mystical fire it though, so I'm not too worried. And I can also haze with Milo. So we'll see. Opt to recover, that's fine. Ooh, running. <sighs> I should have paid more attention to the HP. That's my fault. That sucks. We're just gonna mystical fire. Get it back to neutral. There's a decent amount though, still does a decent chunk. Acid armor, so he's stored power. He's stored power, okay. Good to know. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Um, do I mystical fire again? Stored, so acid armor, recover. Acid armor, recover. Uh, calm mind. And then stored power. But then T-Tart is right there. I'm not too sure about this. Nice. Oh, we're supposed to attack, so now it's at minus one. I'm gonna call mine again. Um, I'm not 100% sure about this set for him. Cause like, stored power doesn't clean. I have T-Tart right there. Is that neutral? I could also just go into Milo and Haze. Also can't pressure it out either, so that kind of sucks. Um, he has a speed boost, which sucks. I'm trying to think. I think I just keep doing it. Guess I'll U-turn and go out into Guitar, I guess. But he doesn't, weird, because he doesn't have. Like, store power would be his last move with all those boosts. Like, unless I'm being dumb. But he hits acid armor, calm mind, recover. Last move has to be store power. Right? I'm not tripping, right? Calm mind's in my face, okay. Um, okay, I don't know too much, like, I'm baffled, <laughs> to say the least, but like, unless I'm tripping, I don't think I'm tripping though, I wish I had Iron Head or something, unless he's like Mono Dazzling Gleam, but I can just freely set up rocks here. So I gotta watch out for this. He is mono dazzling gleam. Okay, nice to know. Good to know, good to know, good to know. That was a bluff. Good bluff. I can't like, fault him on that. Uh so we know that he his whole set. We know his set. Um and he doesn't have stored power. So essentially. I can swap out right here, go Moltres, and just keep mystical fire until I'm like, okay. Um, 
I mean, he does end up boosting. Oh, this is kind of a tough spot, actually. I should have went... Um... Milo? Because I can haze it, so I... I yes. Goes for Carmine. Okay, nice prediction. Oh, this is annoying, bro. If I had Toxic, it would be great. Really nice. So I'm just gonna keep my missile fire, roost, yada yada yada. Going less and less, but we're getting this attack drop. As Lingling comes off, isn't, isn't gonna do too much. Yeah, cool. But he does have the dazzling gleam, which is nice. No, he's not sword power. Interesting set. Interesting set. Okay. Got me a little rattled, a little baffled. We're gonna mystical fire again. Now I'm gonna roost. Um, the only downside to this exchange is that Milo is gonna end up taking a lot of damage because of the speed boost that it has. Recover comes off. Then switch to the side. So what I can do now, cause I think it has like no boost. Info. Yeah, no, no special attack boost. I can just go Milo now. And then, well, I guess I could U-turn actually first. We are behind a timer. Oh my gosh, again. Not because of the first turn. I was being silly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into Milo because I don't think he attacks me here. I'm going to haze. He will attack me, unfortunately. He'll be at plus one. And then I can easily just uh, avoid this whole thing and flip turn out afterwards. Yep, call mine in my face, blah, blah, blah. Um, Milo is thick. We should be fine because this is a defensive Valkyrie from the Calx. So it shouldn't do too much, hopefully. Um, we can just haze it. So whew, good thing we brought haze. Thanks to the homies for talking about it with me. Um, so we're going to haze right here. Avoid this thing altogether. And then we can recover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Awesome. Fantastic. So I guess maybe his whole like thing was to kind of like bluff. To try to get me to lose my T-Tar, I guess. We're gonna recover. And you can predict the recover. For sure. Alright, awesome. So all of his stats were gone. Very nice. We'll see what he wants to do here. He's gonna call mine up in my face again. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to gonna try to like scald burn this thing. Actually, I kind of don't lose anything from just hazing again. Cause I'll waste his call mines and stuff. And I have more hazes than he does everything else, so. I'm kind of cool with that. Yep, he's just gonna try to like boost me and then attack me, blah, blah, blah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I think what I do here is I scald. I'm gonna try to get a burn on something. Like on Akrimi would be nice because it negates the leftovers damage, so it's basically like he doesn't have it. I was able to get rocks up, which is super nice. Can you snag a Bernie, please? No burn. Okay, I'm for it. I want a burn, coach. Give me a burn. So now he's gonna get something in free here. If he wants to. I'm gonna have to recover. Oh, uh, we're gonna try to get back timer as much as we can. But if we if this ends up being a long game, we are gonna be down because of timer. I'd have my whole minute there if I just didn't overthink turn one, to be honest. And I would feel perfectly fine. Wait, why am I... I have two mods that are... I have Flame Orb. I was like, what? What status did I have? I didn't see him click one. I forgot that was both Flame Orb and both mine. Perfect. So he does switch, yeah. Vish. Persian. Okay, cool. I'm fine with this. Gonna take Rock Ship. Nice. 
Because Milo can kind of just sit here. He doesn't really have anything to break this. Oh, if I was competitive right now. Oh my god, because of the parting shot. Oh my god, that'd be sexy. That'd be sexy, bro. We're gonna scald. I mean, we could actually low flip turn out if he does. Yeah, I'm down with that. I'm down with that, actually. That's better than scalding. Yeah, he does a parting shot, so we're gonna get a slow flip turn. And we'll see where he wants to go. If he goes into Vish, we can just Shadow Ball. Uh, it might be Choice Scarf Persian, but I don't know. I would assume this Scarf. And like, we can live a knockoff from a Persian. We can also live a foul play from a Persian. But, I don't know if that's worth. I'm gonna flip turn out. Is it Boots? Not Boots, very nice. So I could have just called it actually. Critical hit. We love those. We absolutely love those. All right, and then we can go out into not we go on a hair cross actually. Yep. I'm gonna go hair cross and facade for free. Because either way, he can't kill me. He'll deal some damage, but we'll be fine. We should be able to take it. We can facade right here. Get this in. We're either killing this or killing something else. That's fine. I mean, if he's plus one Melmetal, I guess he could kill me. All right? If he's <laughs> if he baton passes into Melmetal. Um, hold up. Hair cross to Galapede. Knock off a kill from this range. So I could just go knock. Actually, is a better play. Right now. Baton pass, okay, cool. So if it goes Momo, that's nice because we get rid of this thing's item. Because knock is better. Overall for right now. And we're pressuring him from clicking spikes or anything, unless he wants to keep Scalipede. But we know it's Baton Pass, Protect. Um, uh, so I could have decided. That sucks. We're going to knock off here. So maybe, was it Scarf? Or yes or no? Critical hit again. <laughs> I'm sorry, mid. His lefties. Oh, I feel like we saw that, and I just wasn't paying attention. Um, now we can just facade for free right here. I mean, of course, maybe knock again would have been the better play, but if he stays in, not. So, eh, goes for knockoff. That's fine. Doesn't matter too much because we we're just flame orb. We already got our burn. We'll be able to kill this thing. Nice. So Heracross, KO Persian, and now, uh, like Shadow Ball is like literally free. It's so free, so very free. But Baton Pass, Protect, Spikes. Maybe he's Endeavor on the last move for Scalipede. And my camera went out because it has been like 30 plus minutes. Does it go back on? It does go back on? Awesome! I caught it in time. So this thing comes out. Um, I do want a facade, but it's not in range, unfortunately. Like, it's not in range. So I have to go out into uh, Milo again. Just go Milo every time. Because I won't be one this thing easily. And we have no hazards up either, which is super, super, super nice. So recover comes off. That's cool. I'm just going to scald this thing now. Because now I can get a burn on it. And then next time I can recover if I want to. No reason for going for flip turn. Uh, he doesn't really have anything that wants to take a scald burn. Hopefully I do get the burn. So we're like we're we have like a nice position right now. We're in a nice spot. We're like in a very very nice spot. Let's do a solid chunk. No. Mm, I'm upset. <laughs> I just want I just want the burn, bro. I think we've gone for like four scalds on this thing and we haven't gotten it once. I haven't gotten it once. I haven't gotten it once. But we have been critting this man left and right, which I apologize for. But I don't think they've been too detrimental for him. So what we can do, scald one more time, try to get a burn. And then we can haze. We do get it. Finally. Thank you. 
Dazzling game comes off. Okay, cool. Whew, that's a lot. So lefties are going to be negated, which are nice. Maybe I should have hazed right there, actually. All right, we're going to recover. Easy peasy. If he goes for another Calm Mind to recover, that'd be nice. But if you just keep Dazzling Gleam, that sucks. He's just gonna keep Dazzling Gleaming. All right, actually, that's fine. That's just fine. Actually, I can even recover one more time, just to be safe. Yeah, I'm gonna recover one more time just to be safe, and then I'm gonna Haze. Yep, yep, yep. I recover, and then I'm gonna Haze, just in case. Cause you know, crits and stuff are a thing. And at this point, one of us is like begging for one. Very nice at the top. We're gonna see what he's gonna go for. Dazzling Gleam. Nice. We can haze now for sure. With safety. I'm not too worried. We're fine. Just sipping on all this water. I really probably have. I like. I'm probably gonna have to pee in like two seconds for sure. <laughs> I'm almost drinking a whole 50 ounce of water right now. We're gonna haze. We are super behind it. We're like a whole minute. If I had that minute back from the beginning we'd be fine we'd be super fine like we'd be looking juicy super juicy he's clicking dazzling game a lot which is nice because that means like eventually they're gonna run out i think dazzling game only has 16 i don't know how many times he's clicked it which i should have been paying attention to i guess because then like this thing is just a sitting duck because then he's just gonna struggle with like all these taboos we're gonna recover super easily and like, if he does go Vishir, that's fine, because I just go T-Tar. He's going to withdraw. Cool. Um, and I just go T-Tar. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Well, that's fine. Going to be able to recover right here. Vicious Friend is going to do a lot to Milo. Great to go Vish. Yeah, it does do a solid amount. Um, and I just like just stack it because I can go pull. We know it's not scarf. <sighs> I'm just thinking about it. I think this is the right play. I think it's the right play. Everything that it needed to check, it kind of, everything is kind of gone. Like Rotom and Persian are gone. Can't really check out Creamy. So I think we just go ahead and stack this thing off here, get some more sand chip, which is nice. So I'm fine with that. I think I'm okay with this exchange. Goes for Fishes Ren. Cool. So Dracovish. KO Tyranitar. And get buffeted, which is nice. L literally whittling this thing down. And we just go into ham salmon. Nice. We could even, uh, I was about to say we could drop a Draco, but definitely not. Definitely not. We're just going to Shadow Ball. Doesn't really have a switch in for it unless he's like AV Melmetal. And we'll draw. My metal comes out. Might be AV. We'll see. If it's a two shot, that would be great. Like, it would be fantastic if it was a two shot. Let's see. The dev drop? No. Get buffeted by Sando. We're going to withdraw and we're going to go out into this thing. Because we could potentially get a chance to burn it, which would be very, very nice. Unless he's like protective pads. Thunder Punch. Yeah. Does die. Do we get a flame body? Flame body? Nope. Okay, cool. So Thunder Punch is there. We go back out into Pult now. And. Uh. Metal Metal. From Dragon Ball. Shadow Ball did a lot, so we know it's not AV. The Shadow Ball did like a lot, a lot. Now I, we can literally just flamethrower. I guess we could U turn, try to predict it. Now we just go for flamethrower, fine. Oh no no no! 
Oh, God. Okay, well. That's okay. Well, mm, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to get right back. We're going to be right back with you guys. Um, Hopefully in a little bit. We're going to see. We're going to talk about it. We're going to discuss it. But we'll be right back with you guys. Don't go nowhere. All right. And we are back after very, very frustrating recreation. I'm going to let mid know we're ready. Um, oh, And then like seeing like misplaced over time and all this other stuff is very frustrating. <laughs> but we're here. We're going to do whatever we got to do right now. Um, so we know like we did sack off Moltres and I should have went hair cross. But um, good luck. Have fun. Uh, hopefully he's not Akaberry. That would suck. It would very much suck. We'll see right here though. Um, we'll see. I already clicked it. All right, Momoto goes down. Awesome, sweet. So awesome. I'm not gonna keep track of kills right now. I'll just have to watch it back because um, my screens and stuff are all over the place. So we'll see what he does right here. If he goes out creamy. Uh, that's fine. I, but he could also go Dracovish, which is kinda eh. But at this, at the same time, I think Holt just wins now, potentially. Don't know though. But if he does, he goes on to this. Um, do I sack Heracross here is the question. Um, because if I sack Milo, if I sack Milo, then we like so either way, right here. <laughs> I have to go on to I think I go into Milotic. Because if I go Milotic, I lose Milotic, but at the same time, we I think we live one. And then I can go Pult. Ugh. No, I can't go pull. Cause like Alcremia is hard to break. If I don't like, I need both monsters. I need like one more sack. I'm trying to think about the best case scenario right here. Cause Milotic will survive. Cause like Milo is good for like both, but like I need Heracross to break Alcremia. Or I'll just have to stall it out and get it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um. I'm gonna just bring this over here and trust that I'm recording still. Am I? Yep. All right, cool. Um, OBS is cool. We're cool. I gotta pull my calcs up right here. Um, drag up to out creamy. That's defensive. Let me see. Spec shell does 45 to 54. Um, can we live in dazzling gleam is the question. We do take a dazzling gleam. Oh, uh, so. But if he is, in fact, Endeavor on Scallopede, that's gonna suck. Oh, bro. Or maybe we just go for Flamethrower. No, because we don't kill. We don't kill. But if he clicks Outrage right here, then that would suck. Like Flamethrower does 12 to 15. It would be a two shot. Potentially. No, nah, it wouldn't. Yeah, it would potentially. I think I go into Milotic. Because like, like. I feel like that's the best play. I'm trying to think. Like rationalize it. Like Alcremia is in range. Uh, after Rocks it might be in range. Uh, Alcremia. Oh bro. I'm running. It's like. This is like the worst end game. 45 to 54. It's at what percent? 62 percent. 62 percent. And then from rock, it takes rock. Battle ball is a 50 percent chance to Oko. I think I go Milo. I think I have to. Cause like, all of, I, I think we. I think that's the best play. I'm trying to like. So I sack Heracross. I go into Milo then. Either way, I would lose both those bonds. But then I just go Milo. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Then I go Milo. Outrage, there it is. Okay, cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What we can do now is we can just recover. All right, cool. It is confused. Wait, we know it's banded. We can go Heracross now, actually. We have speed Dracovish, so we can just facade. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Oh, cool. Perfect. 
Wally Wally comes out. Facade right here. Doesn't kill. Awesome. But actually, it's not awesome. Because we don't live to burn. Okay, so. It's going to be a close one. Because we, we might be able to take this out. Shadow Ball right here. Oh my gosh, bro. This is... <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is close. This is so close. This is so close. Oh, we get the KO. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. That was... Oh. <laughs> that was super close, bro. That was way too close for comfort. GG mid. Oh my gosh. So, like, that was a tough end game. So, I'm glad we thought it out a bit. Uh, so I totally forgot that we were like speed creeping uh, Dracovish with Heracross. So thank God I did that. But also I was like in my mind, I knew he was banded but at the same time. I was like, oh, he's Scarf too. So like my brain was doing that stuff. So luckily we got a dub this week, a very, very close dub. Shout out to Dragapult, the ham sandwich. But um, without further ado, I am your boy Jay. Make sure to go check out Midside and make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe over here. But without further ado, I am your boy Jay. I'm gonna get about your hair and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.